Ahoy! I've been asked countless times about that, so today's video is going to be about the guild ranking system. You can access that through the guild window by clicking the guild menu button. There's actually a pretty detailed explanation of the whole system on the official website in some ancient patch notes, but I know people don't like reading those, so if you're interested in more details, let me go through the simplified version. Basically, the first 10 guilds of the server are concerned in this system. You can see the list right here, and the score on the right side. Keep in mind that the ranking is refreshed every day, right after midnight, so you won't see the score difference until the next day. The two most important things are score calculation and the rewards. The base of the score calculation is the amount of personal score you gain while doing mission wars over level 170, that includes TG and MC. The double of your kill count in wars is also added to your personal score at the end. So let's say I made 1000 points and had 5 kills, that means the guild will receive 1010 points from my contribution. Also, if your nation wins that war, your score will receive a bonus of 20% too. However, that is limited to a maximum of 7 entries a week, but luckily the game will select the highest 7 of all your points, so you don't have to, like, go full farming mode in every war during the week. Now, obviously, you're not alone in a guild, or at least I hope you aren't. The more, the merrier, and this applies to the ranking system too. However, once again, there is a limit. There are restrictions in both battle styles and number of people. According to the patch notes, two of each and a maximum of 12 people can contribute to this. However, this update was before they added Gladiator and Force Gunner to the game, so I presume that's 16 now. Anyway, once again the game does all the calculations and selection of the best 7 scores and the players. If there are more than two of the same class, let's say three bladers are playing in the same war, then only the two with the highest scores will be added to the guild score. There is one more thing about ranking calculation. There's also a percentage value right here. That is called penalty, and it's meant to bring balance to the system. The idea is that after a guild is ranked in the top 10, it will receive a penalty to their score next week to let other guilds climb the leaderboard too. That's a multiplier, which means for example the first guild already loses almost 30% of their points. That is reset every week, and the longer your guild is in the top 10, the bigger the penalty. Now for the rewards, because otherwise the, this whole thing wouldn't make sense. First of all, every guild that ends up in the top 10 will receive a 10% bonus to their VXP gain for the next week. Then there is one guild that is randomly selected every week for a special prize. There's a note at the bottom that says event goal 8th place. That means the guild on the 8th place at the end of the week gets that. This number is changed every week and is between 3 and 10. The reward for the guild is 200 million hours mailed to the guildmaster at the end of the week. The first and second places get exclusive rewards too. The second guild gets a partial refund from the amount of hours that is spent on the items sold by the war NPCs. So the more healing and SP kits people buy, the more hours they get but it's limited to 100 million hours a day. Now, my guild has never reached second place before, but I assume that it practically means 100 million a day, because all the people in war spend an insane amount of hours on war gear. The first guild obviously gets the best reward. There's that annoying fee in the agent shop, right? Well, the winning guild has the option to change it to anything between 4 and 6%. However, the winning guild also receives a portion of that fee, limited to 500 million hours a day. To be precise, they receive half of the increase compared to 4%. So, if they set the fee to 4%, they get nothing, but 6% means an additional 2%, half of which is 1%. So, obviously, everyone will set the fee to 6% and get 1% of the agent shop fee paid on the whole server. Once again, I can't speak from experience, but there are plenty of players who can't afford VIP membership and have to pay the fee, so I presume it's a fixed 500 million a day. Anyway, I believe that's all. As usual, the comments are open for any questions or additions. And if any guildmaster of a guild that's been the first or second in the ranking watches this, I think we'd all like to know whether it really is that amount. If you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it or subscribing to my channel. Ahoy!